Emotet used to be a banking Trojan, but now it's spreading over Wi-Fi. Joe, I understand that there is a, a new transformation or a new discovery on Emotet malware. Yeah, so this was interesting. What I, I always key into uh, malware strands that have their own logo. So when I saw this story on the Hacker News, and they they crumb up with its own logo, so that usually means there's something to this one. So, yeah, Imhotet, um, the the Trojan. You know, typically this has been a banking Trojan, but the the latest trend here is using Imhotet to spread via Wi-Fi. So they're calling it the Imhotet Wi-Fi spreader. So basically, um, Imhotet installs malware and then using the Wi-Fi connection it scans for any connectable Wi-Fi connections and then find and then brute forces you know it runs there's two internal lists it uses to brute force the Wi-Fi unprotected Wi-Fi and then once it gets onto an unprotected Wi-Fi it then brute forces again for share. So it's really almost a two layer wormable spread of malware. Um, pretty, you know, pretty advanced, um, something I, I personally haven't seen before. And, you know, just the, the you know, we, I think we've been talking to folks about protect your Wi-Fi connection, um, but this is a, a real tangible example of why you should do stuff like that, right? You know, this is a strand of malware that is actually, you know, looking for open Wi-Fi connections, looking for unsecured, you know, default password, all that stuff. Uh, and then, you know, it's anything that's exposed over your Wi-Fi, that's again, unprotected, using default passwords, using known passwords, even uh, passwords from, a, uh, you know, that maybe have, were, were lost in a breach somewhere along the line. And then I also think it's really interesting that, um, you know, it's Zemotet, right? This is a banking Trojan. I think you sort of see the evolution of some of this malware, right? Um, <clears throat> I think the story calls it the, the Swiss army knife of malware, right? Because, you know, it was uh, initially used as for uh, banking Trojan. Uh, and now in this case, it's a downloader. It's uh, mining for information. It's, it's been used as a spam bot. Um, you know, depending on how you deploy this malware, yep. it can do, you know, a host of different things. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of like when... Didn't I see it can do ransomware now too, that they can lock them yep. in? Yep. Yep. It was used uh, for email ransomware and uh, it installed TrickBot. And you know, it's uh, yeah, it, it's it, it reminds me too of when we you know sometimes the the malware gets open sourced, and somebody yeah. thinks that's a good idea, <laughs> and then you know this is the same kind of thing. Emotet, it's been out there, and you know once in the wrong hands, it's there's uh, dozens of of malicious uses for for malware, so. Um, you know, this is really interesting. I think uh, it's it's kind of that wormable, you know, malware. It's it's command and control. It's it's um, it's something that I think we got to be aware of. So, um, you know, yeah, yeah. Imotet is basically, as you said, it's evolutionary. We have been seeing it almost every week or ten days. It comes mm -hmm. up with new tactics. For example, uh, like um, John said, uh, ransomware, it also does the mining, it also does trickbot as well as uh, delivering your sniff, lots of things. Uh, I think uh, even it was part of uh, recently with um, exploiting some of the NAS devices like uh, mini routers, okay. IoT kind of devices. And uh, this Wi-Fi spreader is a real, I think, uh, it's taking to the next level. Yep. And uh, it seems, uh, th I read a little bit, it seems the module is present in uh, like uh, almost a year ago, but it's it's been so infrequently used, nobody could able to identify it until this time by these researchers. Right. And um, you said basically it, it is doing the brute forcing to right. find out the weak, weak passwords, and then again using like propagating it so um, loaders to other machines in the network, right? Right, yep. Okay. Yeah, and you know, basically the steps here to guard yourself are, mm -hmm. you know, strong passwords, not reusing yeah. passwords, 
uh, using encryption on your Wi-Fi mm -hmm. connection, um, changing these things regularly. Uh, you know, that, that's sort of the hygiene we always talk about, but I do like that occasionally we can show you why to do stuff like this, yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah, I was, I was, I was, I just set up a new, um, at my home here, I just set up a new uh, Wi-Fi network and, you know, they always ask you, do you want to run a guest network? And I'm thinking, do I really want an open Wi-Fi? <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. and also, you mentioned about it also targets the shares, right? Open shares. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. It's that's kind of that second layer. So second once layer. it gets out on the exposed uh, Wi-Fi connections, then it's looking for any shares connected to those those Wi-Fi bridges. So. Um, so at the, at the time, it's basically behaving like a regular network worm. Yeah, it's right, yeah. like a command and control yeah. network and kind of. Hmm. You know, recruitment, that whole that whole chain that we go through with botnets, it's basically running that, although, although distributed and running a tree structure off of, okay. uh, mm -hmm. off of Wi-Fi's, wow. Wi-Fi connections. Uh, the, the story actually has a pretty good diagram of how it kind of, you know, trees out from, you know, Wi-Fi connections to shares and uh -huh. runs down a list of what's exposed. So it's... And then eventually leads out to the C2s. Exactly. Okay. Yep. Wow. So... Pretty, a pretty extensive network of distribution for Emotet. And it's something to be watched for. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. We talk about, you know, strong passwords and securing your network and keep your network safe and all our buzzwords, but this is a case where you can see, right, having an insecure Wi-Fi set up with no password or a default password, this is exactly the type of malware that's gonna get you if you don't do that stuff.